Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run locally large language models by using VLLM. VLLM is a fast and easy to use library for large language model inference and serving. It's developed by UC Berkeley and has evolved into a community-driven project with contributions from both academia and industry. By the end of this video tutorial, you will learn how to install VLLM and how to run the simple Python script that demonstrates how to use VLLM and how to load a model and how to run the model by using VLLM. In this case, I'm running Llama 3.1, however, you can run most of the Hugging Face models as well as the model scope models. Okay, let's start with the installation process. First of all, open a terminal by clicking here and search for terminal. Then, you have to make sure that you have NVIDIA CUDA compilers installed on your system. To do that, you need to type this command. And if you see something like this, this means that NVIDIA CUDA compilers are installed. In my case, I'm using NVIDIA CUDA 12.6, however, you can also use some other uh, version of NVIDIA CUDA compilers. On the other hand, if this command returns an error, this means that NVIDIA CUDA compilers are not installed and you need to install. Simply go to this website or search for a CUDA toolkit, click on download now, then click on Linux, select your architecture. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu or you can use also Ubuntu on WSL, that is on Windows uh, subsystem for Linux, select your version and then over here I suggest to go with the Deb network installation. Once you do that, that is once you install it, you will be able to see over here the response. Also on my YouTube channel you have a number of tutorials explaining how to install NVIDIA CUDA compilers. Once you do that, make sure that your graphic card is actually recognized by your system. To do that, you simply need to type this command. And if you see something like this, that is if you see your GPU with available memory and other things, this means that your GPU is completely recognized by your system and you can continue. Now, I suggest you over here to always update and upgrade your system and all the packages. So run these two commands and enter your password. Here you need to be patient. Depending on how often you run this command, it might take maybe even several minutes to update and upgrade everything. Next, you need to install curl such that you can install UV. To install curl, you simply need to run this command over here. This will install curl. And then verify that curl is installed by typing this command. And if you see something like this, curl is installed. Next, you need to install UV. To install UV, you need to execute this command. This is the line that I found online, or you can simply type it. It's not too complex. And this command will install UV. The next step is to create a test or workspace folder. Navigate to your home folder. Then let's create a folder called test LLM. Let's navigate to test LLM folder. And inside of this folder, we are going to create our UV environment. Before you do that, run this command to make sure that you have Python your, on your system and to verify the Python version. Okay. Here's how I'm creating a Python virtual environment using UV. And then let's activate it by running this command. Here it is. Now we are inside of UV Python virtual environment. Over here, we need to install PyTorch together with VLLM such that we can use PyTorch backend. Here is the command uv pip install vllm torch backend auto and in this way we are going to install vllm and we will install pytorch as a backend and let's press enter 
and now everything should be installed. Good. The next step is to create our test code. For that purpose, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. I will simply run it like this. If you don't have Visual Studio Code on your system, then you can open my YouTube page and search Install Visual Studio Code on Linux Ubuntu, and there are several tutorials. And over here, let's write a test program. Click on File, click on New File, and let's call the file as test1.py. Save this in this folder, and over here, I'm going to paste the code, and I will explain the code line by line. Here, that is, this first line will from VLLM library import LLM and sampling parameters. LLM will be used over here to load the model. I will explain this line later on and sampling parameters will be used to define the parameter, the actually parameters of the model. Here we are defining a list and inside of list we have a number of questions for our large language model. The first question is, who are you? The second question, what is the capital of the US? And the third question, who is the smartest person on the planet? Okay, here you can change this list or you can only add a single question. Then over here, we are declaring sampling parameters. We are setting the temperature for the model and we are setting the top P parameter. And here comes a very important part. In this way, you're going to load the model. However, behind the scenes, the model will actually be downloaded from the hugging face. And over here, I specify the address of the model. So now if I do, if I copy this, let me show you. And if I go to my web browser and if I open Google, here is the model. So if you want, for example, any model to use, you simply copy this line over here. Then you go back over here and simply paste this name or, or the address of the model. Once you run the model, or actually once you run this code, the model will be automatically downloaded and it will be stored on your computer. That is, it will be cached. This means that next time you run this script, the model will not be downloaded, but instead it's going to be loaded from your local computer. That is, you're completely running the model by using your computer resources. Okay. By default, VLLM pulls the models from the hugging face. However, there is also an option uh, you can specify for using models from model scope. This will be explained in future video tutorials. You specify the name of the model and here comes a very important parameter. You need to specify the percentage of the GPU memory utilization. In my case, I'm using only 80%. However, you can specify 90%, you can specify 10%, and in this way you can constrain GPU memory utilization. And then here you need to specify max model length. This class, or better to say this function over here, or constructor, has a number of additional parameters that you can find online. Over here, I'm actually generating the output, I'm specifying the prompt, and I'm specifying the parameters. Here, we are only performing the inference, and inference will be stored in this list over here. Then we simply iterate through this list, we simply retrieve the text, and we simply print the text. You can also save the text in additional files. Let's run this script. To run this script by using Visual Studio Code, hold and press Control Shift P, then search for Python, select Interpreter. Oops, I made an error. Let me repeat. Control Shift P, then Python select Interpreter, and over here make sure that you select the interpreter from your UV environment. So click here, and now you can. To run the model, press over here and let's see what happens. Now let's be patient. In your case, first you will see that the model is downloaded. However, in my case, since the model is already on my system, it will be actually load from the system cache. That is, in your case, the model execution will take longer. 
you can see now that the safe tensor checkpoint shards are being loaded over take maybe a minute or less than a minute okay let's see what happens over here 75 percent completed and let's see and over here you can see the inference process and here is the answer who are you a generated question it's a question i've been taught about for many years i've asked myself what is the capital of the us you can see the response is correct and you can see another smart answer who is the smartest person on the planet and how do you measure intelligence you can measure person's iq but here the response is being truncated you can get the full response by playing with the model parameters okay this is all for today and this is just a starting point for learning how to use vlln in the future video tutorials we are going to explain how to do fancy things with vlln so stay tuned